everybody. This is Desiree, and I have kind of a special treat today. Um, I ordered this kind of spur of the moment, and I wanted to share it with you. Uh, so I ordered it from Goulet Pens, as you can see, um, and I think it just came out. Um, I just happened to see it on Instagram. I wasn't going to be buying any more fountain pens for a while, but you know how it goes. And I saw this, and I just really liked um the color combinations um and it just really reminded me of summer um so um here are some stickers to go with it so you may have guessed or you may have seen on my um on my little thumbnail that it's an esterbrook sd maui so brand new uh, pen and so it comes in this box and that up and take it out of there. I can get it out. All right. And here is the inner box. This is Esterbrook. Nice fabric lined box. And America's Reborn. Hmm. America's original. Reborn. Sorry. And here it is. So this is the Esterbrook SD Maui. And um, let's see, I think this card is some um, little bit of warranty information or something, Esterbrook. And I can scan that later and uh, probably set up a warranty, find out some more information about it. It has a cartridge and it comes with a converter. And so this is the pen, Whoop. and it is just a really beautiful, tropical looking pen. It really does remind me of Maui. Uh, I just like those colors together. I think if it were only the red and green, um, I don't think I would have purchased it, but with that blue, I just love that. It reminds me so much of the beautiful, plant life and the gorgeous flowers going into the sea um, in Maui, the sea and sky. So that's the pen. It's an acrylic pen. I ordered it. It's got gold trim, gold colored trim. And I ordered um, the nib in medium. You can see that. And this cap has kind of a spring-loaded feel to it. It's like a little spongy in there. It has a little, um, I don't think you can see that, but it has a little plastic um, inner cap. And um, it's kind of springy. And that seems like it would be really nice for keeping the ink from leaking. And um, it is about five, oops, sorry. It's about five and three quarters inches and about oh, 15, 15 centimeters long. So just for a couple comparisons, just visual comparisons, um, here is my Pilot Metro, so yeah, it's about, I don't know, a centimeter, half an inch longer than my Pilot Metro, and if I grab one of my Twisby Ecos, it is very close to that, just a little bit longer, um, but let me see here, if I take the cap off <clears throat> it is just about it's actually just a little bit shorter in length unposted um, than my eco really nice size I, I rarely post pens unless I have to unless they're like little minis um, but it has a nice feel to it uh, the diameter of the grip section is a little bit wider than, say, my 
Twisby Eco. But it feels really nice. Um, so I am going to ink it up and see how it writes. I'm thinking of three different inks um, just to try. And um, I had gotten uh, some ink samples from Goulet Pens because of my birthday. I ordered some. And two of those seem like they may be pretty nice in it. One of them um, is the Pilot Iroshisuku uh, Chikurin. And that one is a shimmer. And that just seems like it would go really well with, with the green part of the pen. Um, I think it's lighter, you know, than it looks in the bottle. And the second one in that sample package is a Pelican Edelstein Garnet. And if you can see that, it's kind of a pretty, pretty red. And I thought, oh, that would, that would be good for, for the red part of the pen to go with the red part. Or my last thought was uh, maybe it would look really nice with the, um, Diamine Ink Vent Sub Zero, and that also is a shimmer. And I thought, ooh, you know that that would go really well um, to match with the blue in the blue sky. So I am going to take a couple minutes to decide which one I want to try, or maybe I'll just try one and then try another. Uh, but I will be right back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ink it up. Oh, I didn't show you. Mm -hmm. See what this looks like. Okay. It's a very heavy pen, by the way. I mean the you know the hardware is um it feels very nice and um somewhat heavy. But here is the converter. So I'm gonna figure out which pen, which ink I want, sorry, and I will ink it up and I will be with you momentarily. Okay, so I decided on an ink color. Can anybody guess? Um, I'll give you a hint. Uh, <laughs> let's see if you can see my fingers. I decided that I wanted to try uh, for now the uh, Diamine Sub Zero uh, with the shimmer. So I inked it up with that. So we will try it out. This is uh, the trusty Tomoe River Paper notebook that I usually do my swatches in and let's see how it writes again uh, this is a medium nib and it is an Esther Brook SD Maui There's a little bit of feedback. Um, seems to write well. I just inked it up. This is the first writing sample. I have not adjusted the nib in any way. <clears throat> Seems pretty nice. It isn't a, oh, there's a little bit of skipping there. Okay, I'm going to try this. Again, just to see about the flex. There's a little bit of flex in there. Um, I would say that the nib is not the most buttery of nibs. It's a little bit of scratchiness, I think. Uh, again, it may be that it needs to be adjusted just a little bit. I'll keep writing with it and see how it goes. Um, but in general, it seems to be writing well. I did have a little bit of skipping, but um, I don't have that now. And I think it may have been, 
Oh, this may have been me. I feel like I do have to put a little bit of pressure on it for a consistent flow. Try it out a little bit more. I've never had an Esterbrook uh, before, so we'll see how I like it as time goes on. Um, I truly love the design of the pen um, and the colors. Anyway, that was just a quick little um, extra video clip here. I was going to do some ink comparisons, but this was a spontaneous uh, purchase. And I just got it in the mail yesterday, so I thought I would do a quick little video of the Maui. Um, really pretty. Esterbrook Esty. Just a little addendum. I thought maybe it needed to be sanded just a little bit with a very fine sandpaper. It was fine um, if I'm writing like to this side, it was fine. But when I was writing to this side, it seemed a little scratchy. Um, so I just very lightly um, sanded it just a bit. And it's better now. I just tweaked it very, very carefully and lightly. And uh, yeah, it seems a lot better now. So I think, I think I'll play around with it a little bit and see how it goes. Okay, so that's it for today. And um, I will see you soon again. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.